This is Captain Reese, a pirate legend upon the Sea of Thieves. There's three things that motivate this buccaneer, adventure, gold, and commendations. Whether it be solo aboard the SS Isabella, or with friends on Gold Member, or some other vessel, adventure awaits you salty sea dogs. So come join Captain Reese, First Mate Machiko, Crew Member Todd, and Navigator Kenobi as they batten down the hatches, raise anchor, lower sail, and begin the hunt upon the Sea of Thieves. This is the Commendation Hunter. Today's video is a short one, apologies in advance, but the commendation is dedicated to the Hunter's Call and all of its fisher people out there. I thought about doing United Scourge of Skeleton Ships for sinking 25 skelly ships in an alliance, but that would take someone else cooperating. On a recent unfilmed solo session, I was doing the Ashen Winds and formed an alliance with the two-player brig. We finished it and I sold the Skull and Chest of Rage. They went to do the Skeleton Fleet World event while I went to the Devil's Roar to do a Merchant Shipwreck and Gold Holder's Vault Voyage. They got me to 23 out of 25, and I sunk a sloop before doing the vaults to get to 24 out of 25, but signed off before finding one more. Unless someone found me, for today, I was going to do Hunter of the Umber Splash Tail, for selling 10 Umber Splash Tails to the Hunter's Call. I was 3 away, and while this is the rarest type of Splash Tail, it would do nicely while I waited for another ship to come along and I could ask them to Alliance. Galleon's Grave was my spawn today, and I was solo aboard the SS Isabella. I gathered some supplies to fill up on and selected my sailing mate for today, Navigator Kenobi. I set sail for the nearby Three Paces East Sea Post. This would be my fishing spot for today. I threw up the Alliance flag so if anyone sailed up to me, I would be set to Alliance up for a skeleton ship hunt. The good thing about Umber Splash Tails is they don't require any bait to catch, meaning you just need a fishing rod. I decided to try and speed up the process by only catching any trophy fish I got in the line in addition to my intended target. I only have Ruby Splashtail finished, so the others would help on those combinations as well. I fished from the dock of the sea post itself, filling up my inventory with one of every type of trophy fish Splashtail except for Umber of course, but I knew it wouldn't be easy. I cooked them up and sold them off. While cooking I saw a level 1 Reaper had spawned on the far side of the map and was at Imperial Crown Fortress, a possible PvE Reaper. I caught another trophy Sunny Splashtail and boredom had set in when a wild trophy Umber Splashtail appeared! My first one of the day and it's a trophy? This is one fish that would not escape my grasp. With one in the bag, I cooked the two fish and sold them off. Only two more to go. Selling the trophy Sunny Splashtail gained me Grade 3 of Hunter of the Sunny Splashtail. Only 30 more to go for Grade 5. To narrow down the fish I spent my time on, I would now only go for Umber Splashtails and trophy versions of the Splashtails I still needed. I swapped to the bow of the Bella and started filling up my inventory. I didn't find any Umber Splash Tails, so I cooked the five trophy fish I had and sold. This also got me Grade 3 of Hunter of the Indigo Splash Tail. Only 30 more to go for Grade 5. While cooking, I confirmed the Reaper from earlier was a PvE Reaper, as they had also sacked Ancient Gold Fortress and were on their way to Old Brinestone Fortress for their Grade 5. One more trophy fish later, and while I wasn't expecting it, a wild Umber Splash Tail appeared! It didn't matter that this wasn't the trophy version, it was good enough for me, and I began to wheel it in.
Cooking and selling, I was one more away from completing my second section of Splash Tales. I also decided that I was only going for my final umber. No more fish except the one to give me my grade 5 commendation. I wasn't having any luck and checked the map to see that the Reapers were now grade 5. Good thing the Hunter's Call doesn't have an emissary flag to raise. Also while trying to find my final fish, I saw another sloop. They ended up being an Order of Souls emissary, but I didn't figure that out until after I was done recording. They didn't want to alliance with me so I could sink a skelly ship. Big Sag. Now I was weary about this next line because of how close it was to the dock, but I didn't think it would be what I was looking for. Until it was. My final Umber Splash Tail and I might lose it to the dock? I can't watch! That was close, but Captain Reese made Merrick proud. Cooking this fella up, there was only one thing left to do to seal the deal and get me my Grade 5 commendation. Thank you all so much for watching, please like the video and subscribe, it really helps out the channel a lot, share the video with your friends. Apologies again for the short video, this might be my last video for a little bit, I'm feeling a bit smothered by a bunch of stuff suddenly springing themselves onto me in life, and I want to make sure I come out on the other side before I continue here. Thank you all so much for your understanding and support. Until such a time, my friends, this is the Combination Hunter, signing off.